what's what's it been like for you being back now um, and, and kind of stepping back in with a little bit of grief at the plate especially? You know, I think it's been big. I was just, it's kind of like a reset for me, honestly. I was kind of struggling early and just not seeing it very well. But now that I've been back, I've, you know, I feel comfortable in the box and just trying to help the team win, however. Watching and kind of picking the brain of guys, did that help you some and kind of taking a deep breath maybe? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think talking to Bryson and Ike and those guys that have been, you know, on fire at the plate. And I think it's just, you know, communicating with them and seeing if they see anything in my swing or just anything at the plate that would help me have more success and, you know, be able to find that groove and that I've comfortably found and, you know, just working hard towards, you know, getting this team back on track and, you know, looking for a big series win this weekend. How much fun has it been to, to be a part of, I mean, you've already been to Arkansas, been to Florida, to be a part of this and to see this kind of craziness that is SEC baseball? Oh, it's a blast. I mean, this is what you dream of as a kid. And I think that any of those guys in that locker room would say that. And I think we're just looking forward to continuing growing and getting better. All right. Go ahead. Why Dancing Queen? But the follow up is going to be where did Dancing Queen go? Okay. Um, <laughs> the first one, why Dancing Queen was because, I don't know, there's two reasons actually. So, first reason was it just it's kind of just a fun song, and I like to have fun when I'm playing and not get too entirely serious, but uh, just kind of let loose and have fun. And the second reason, Okay, well, we'll go back to the, the where'd it go. Um, <laughs> I don't know, honestly, it just kind of changed some things up when I got hurt, and let's try to just see where that takes me. Mm -hmm. So, baseball players are superstitious. It's yeah, a new song works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What is the new song? It's a it's a rap song called "Hats Off" by uh, by Lil Baby. <laughs> Have you had? Um, have you had a lot of people come up and say stuff to you about Dancing Queen, though? Family, parents? A couple and, of people, yeah. yeah. They liked it, but my dad asked me where it went, so. Have you seen Mama Mia? I have. <laughs> that, that's all the hard hitting. Yeah, that's all the hard hitting. <laughs> what was the second reason? Oh, uh, so when I was uh, in high school, my like, a very close family friend, uh, she uh, tragically passed away. Uh, in an ATV accident, and her parents started a foundation called the Be the Light, and that was like the theme song for it. So it was kind of just my way of honoring her and showing my love for their family. Now we feel bad for criticizing her. No, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. <laughs> All right.